Since their introduction in the 1940s, both stable and radioactive isotopes have become critical components of research and of applications that touch nearly every aspect of our everyday lives. Today, tens of millions of nuclear medicine procedures are performed every year. Deep space exploration is powered. Safety and security is enhanced. Energy development is enabled. And critical research is advanced in a broad range of fields from biology and physics to environmental studies and material sciences. The demand for isotopes continues to grow as new sciences emerge that require their use, and as advances in medical and other research stimulate new applications. Ensuring that the nation's current and future needs for these vital isotopes are met is an ongoing mission of the U.S. Department of Energy. The DOE Isotope Development and Production for Research and Applications Program, more commonly known as the DOE Isotope Program, is working to improve the development, production, and distribution of stable and radioactive isotope products, especially those in short supply. It is increasing its coordination and support of isotope production at national laboratories, universities, and industry and it is supporting innovative research and development as well as workforce development to secure a more certain and sustainable future for isotope production in the U.S. For the past several decades, the unique facilities within the Department of Energy have played a critical role in making isotopes available to customers worldwide. The DOE Isotope Program continues to rely on those capabilities for nuclear reactor and accelerator-produced radioisotopes, as well as for chemical and electromagnetic separation methods for producing stable isotopes. For decades, the Department of Energy has maintained an inventory of stable isotopes at Oak Ridge National Laboratory. The inventory contains some 2,300 batches of enriched stable isotopes of 53 different elements. These isotopes are processed into a variety of chemical and physical forms to meet customer needs. Much of the stable isotope inventory dates back to the calutrons at the Y-12 National Security Complex, which were built to separate uranium isotopes for the Manhattan Project in the 1940s and subsequently were used to separate isotopes of nearly every element in the periodic table. In 1998, calutron operations ceased. As a result, the stable isotope inventory at Oak Ridge National Laboratory is diminishing. The DOE Isotope Program has responded with investment in the development and demonstration of modern enrichment techniques and new capabilities to ensure a sustainable supply of stable isotopes that are vital to industry, medicine, national security, and scientific research. Oak Ridge National Laboratory is also a major producer of and researcher in the development and production of radioactive isotopes. Building on the original graphite reactor and associated hot cell facilities built in the 1940s and 50s, new capabilities were added in the 1960s to focus on heavy isotope production. Fifty years later, the high flux isotope reactor still provides the world's highest steady rate neutron flux, making it uniquely suited for the production of transuranic radioisotopes. The adjacent Radiochemical Engineering Development Center, or REDC, provides separation, purification, and processing capabilities, including glove box laboratories and heavily shielded hot cells. With the unique capabilities at REDC and the high flux isotope reactor, the DOE isotope program provided the berkelium-249 target material that led to the discovery of new super heavy element 117 in 2009. The two facilities also supply over 70% of the world's Californium-252, a strong neutron source used in a wide range of applications. Recently, researchers at Oak Ridge electro-deposited a record amount of Californium-252 onto a plate to be used at an accelerator at Argonne National Laboratory for the study of what happens in supernova explosions and other astrophysical phenomena. The unique facilities at Oak Ridge are also used to produce other important radioisotopes that are not commercially available. Among them are selenium-75, 
an ideal source for industrial radiography, and nickel-63, used to detect explosives and employed in common devices such as voltage regulators and surge protectors. Another important area of research and development at Oak Ridge is the production of medical isotopes. Currently, the laboratory provides tungsten 188, lead 212, and actinium 225 for cancer diagnosis and treatment and cutting edge clinical trials by world class cancer research institutes and universities. Actinium 225 has particular promise as an innovative cancer treatment. When combined with tumor seeking antibodies, this radioisotope targets and irradiates cancer cells while leaving healthy cells largely unaffected. Oak Ridge is the world's major supplier of high purity actinium-225, but supplies are limited relative to the increasing demand for supportive clinical trials. Consequently, the DOE isotope program has initiated a tri-lab collaboration among Oak Ridge, Brookhaven, and Los Alamos National Laboratories to enhance production using the unique high-energy proton accelerators available at Brookhaven and Los Alamos. Accelerator production could significantly boost the availability and affordability of actinium-225. The Brookhaven LINAC isotope producer, or BLIP, at Brookhaven National Laboratory consists of a beam line and target area for isotope production that uses up to 200 mega electron volt protons to produce a wide range of unique radioisotopes, particularly those that are commercially unavailable. The Brookhaven isotope program also performs important research to develop new products and radioisotope applications. Research radioisotopes currently under development include actinium-225, copper-67, arsenic-72, scandium-44, and platinum radioisotopes for use in therapy and personalized medicine. In addition, the Brookhaven Isotope Program hosts the Nuclear Chemistry Summer School for undergraduate students to help meet the need for workforce development. Brookhaven Laboratory works closely with the Los Alamos National Laboratory Isotope Program to ensure that accelerator production of isotopes is continuous and short-lived products are readily available to customers. For example, the laboratories are the top two suppliers of strontium-82 in the U.S. The isotope is used in the production of the strontium-82 rubidium-82 generator. Rubidium-82 is a positron-emitting radioisotope used for cardiac perfusion imaging needed to assess heart muscle function. The Los Alamos National Laboratory Isotope Production Facility, or IPF, operates in conjunction with the NNSA Lance Facility. The IPF uses a 100 mega electron volt proton beam to produce a wide range of commercial isotope products including cadmium-109, used as X-ray fluorescence sources, arsenic-73, used as a tracer in environmental studies, and sodium-22, used in positron emission tomography or PET scanners. In addition to actinium-225 and scandium-44, the Los Alamos Isotope Program is exploring other promising candidates in cancer detection and treatment. For example, germanium-68 is produced at IPF for germanium-68 gallium-68 generators. Gallium-68 is being investigated as a PET imaging agent for a large number of diagnostic procedures. The Los Alamos Isotope Program has also put silicon-32 into inventory to support oceanographic research supplied through a collaboration with Canada's Triumph facility. The IPF also produces isotopes for nuclear physics studies and national security applications and conducts nuclear cross-section measurements needed by the nuclear data community. The DOE Isotope Program also supports isotope production at Idaho National Laboratory for commercial and medical applications. The National Laboratory's Advanced Test Reactor is the most versatile test reactor in the U.S. and is a centerpiece of the laboratory's nuclear energy research and development capabilities. The Advanced Test Reactor is well suited for the production of a variety of isotopes. Cobalt-60 is used for sterilization of medical equipment 
and is a radiation source for medical radiotherapy. The DOE isotope program is also considering the production of iridium-192 used in industrial radiography to examine welds in steel structures at the ATR. The isotope sciences program at Pacific Northwest National Laboratory operates in the radiochemical processing laboratory. The facility contains extensive wet laboratories, shielded glove boxes, wet radiochemistry fume hoods, and associated equipment for conducting radiochemical separations, most especially those needed to provide ultra-pure medical isotopes, including radium-223 and strontium-90. Radium-223 is used in the treatment of metastatic cancers in bone. Strontium-90 is used in the production of its daughter isotope, yttrium-90, using a Pacific Northwest patented separation process that is licensed to private industry. Yttrium-90 is used medically as a radioactive beta source for the treatment of liver cancers. In partnership with the University of Washington Medical Center in Seattle, PNNL developed a rapid automated production system for producing high-quality zirconium-89. Zirconium-89 is a long-lived positron emitter used in high-resolution cancer imaging. Pacific Northwest Laboratory is also collaborating with the University of Washington on its Astatine 211 separation and purification process to enable faster and more efficient delivery of a high-purity isotope. Astatine 211 is a promising candidate for targeted alpha therapy for cancer treatment. The University of Washington recently joined the DOE's Isotope Program Network as a production site for Astatine 211. Participation of universities in the National Isotope Program Network is important, not only in the research they enable, but in the educational opportunities that they provide students and in the training of next-generation nuclear scientists and radiochemists. The DOE Isotope Program also works with other federal agencies to meet their growing need for isotopes. For example, the DOE Isotope Program works with the Y-12 National Security Complex, a National Nuclear Security Administration facility, to supply lithium isotopes to the nation. Among them, the lithium-6 isotope that serves as a scintillation material for neutron detectors, such as portal, backpack, and handheld detectors used to prevent illicit smuggling of special nuclear materials at ports and border crossings. These neutron detectors are also used in exploratory drill shafts to determine the likelihood of oil or gas. The National Isotope Development Center, or NIDC, serves as the interface between the researchers and customers and the production facilities to ensure reliable supplies of needed isotopes. The sale and distribution of both stable and radioactive isotopes is coordinated through the Isotope Business Office. The office processes all requests for quotations and orders for both existing and new products. The NIDC also offers special services to transport stable and radioactive samples from the production sites to the customers. At each of its production sites and through its university and industry partnerships, the DOE Isotope Program is fulfilling its mission to ensure that the nation maintains an inventory of enriched, stable, and radioactive isotopes to meet the growing needs of industry and research. Vital to the success of this mission is the availability of a trained workforce in the production, purification, and distribution of isotopes, as well as investment in a scientific community that can discover and develop new applications for isotopes in the future.